of course, in, in certain countries, uh, and a lot of countries, you see women in the front line no, of, of these struggles, and, and logically so, because they are the ones who knows by heart and by, by their indigenous knowledge on how uh, mining, for example, is going to impact on their food, how mining will impact on the animals, how mining will impact on the, on the biodiversity. These are intangible in the eyes of, of a lot. But for women, this is intrinsically part of already of their very nature because of their well connection to Mother Earth. The importance of family, the importance of the water, the importance on children. We need the women to bring those issues to the table of negotiation and to be able to say no to a development project on those grounds the grounds that the women will bring and then this, the community will decide. We've been taught that our identity comes from the land and um, our songs are on the land and that when you do an environmental assessment does not, does not come up. People don't ask those questions of how are you going to be impacted. Um, they just tell you that there's going to be lots of jobs and um, not lots of money coming into the area and so we need to let this mine go through. After 2008, uh, there was a mining conference or summit um, because mining was starting to pick up in British Columbia and so they were called all the chiefs together and somebody realized how many women were standing up at this mining conference, either councillors or chiefs, saying, what about the communities? Like, it's not just about jobs. What, a what about our families? What about the food security issue? What about the water? Thanks to Kairos, we have partnered with the indigenous women from South America, countries, and beyond. I have heard atrocious stories of violence, of murder, of all kinds of abuses. No es que los hombres no viven los impactos de la minería, sin embargo la mujer lo vive de otra forma y, y creemos que es mucho más violenta, ¿verdad? Cuando vemos que las mujeres son acosadas sexualmente, cuando las mujeres son eh, violadas sexualmente, cuando son perseguidas eh, en sus comunidades. We're already a vulnerable population uh, by imposing, you know, this amount uh, um, of pressure on a community is going to magnify those vulnerabilities, right? So, I mean, we live along the highway of tears. Uh, we're already concerned about our women. Um, research shows that when a, a mine um, or a big development comes in that it's usually women that are impacted. The abuse is not just against the land but against the women as well. Y por lo tanto, las dos cosas están vinculadas para nosotros. So these day, two things are connected. La explotación de los territorios. The exploitation of land. Y la explotación de los cuerpos de las mujeres. And the exploitation of women's bodies. We, as indigenous peoples of the world, hold the key to the continuation of life on this planet. And so I, with that, I just feel empowered. I feel that when women join their hands together for our beloved mother, the earth, that she will be our greatest ally.